In this video, we're going to have a look at creating some stuff with the CNC for the marble machine. First thing I did was design a piece that will allow me to raise the marble up. So I want to catch it at the bottom when it comes off the ramp and then raise it up using the wheel. So we'll have a quick look at the design. You can see I've optimized the design to raise the marble and then I put together the, the uh, cam information just to see that it was machinable, easily machinable. I'm gonna set up the datum to be the center of this uh, wheel if you like and then should be straightforward one cut um, one cutter so no tool changes and then I can use that to create the profile and use that to cut the outside shape cut that hole in the middle um, one thing I am doing there will be some pieces left which I'll just remove with a chisel because it's easy wood is much easier to work with than the plastic stuff for sure but first, take a moment just to like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks. So once we got all the CAD work done, then it's just a quick setup using my clamping system. Then on to cutting the parts out. To be honest, this is much quicker than 3D printing. If I 3D printed this part, it'd probably take four and a half hours to print. This is taking about nine minutes to cut this. And I'm using a very conservative feed rate. I don't like to go smashing in there too fast because you can move things around, you can break pieces off. This is plywood and as it cuts down lower into the plywood it will break pieces off. You actually see it does that in a couple of things even with a slow feed but if you if you go in too crazy at it you will cause it to uh, snap pieces off. So I like to do it nice and steady just go in keep the uh, vacuum close by clear up all the sawdust as it's made and go in and let it do its stuff. So the design for this to raise up the ball and, and move it to the next stage, I just put it together on Fusion 360 and I just worked through different shapes uh, with a representation of the ball and rotating that shape just to see where the ball would go. And I think it works pretty well. This is like I said, it's an original design, so I came up with this through some trial and error. I haven't seen it anywhere else, so I don't think anybody else has done the same thing. Essentially, you catch the ball, and then as it raises around, because of the slope on the second part of the cog, it's going to let that ball out early. And you'll see at the end of this video, there's a, just a very brief view of how it would work. I'm having fun with this thing. I just I enjoy making things, kind of Rube Goldberg or what we call Heath Robinson in England. I'm um, just sort of putting things together, and making them work together in a, in a kind of mad machine uh, approach. It's fun. I, I think it's something that if you're into design, it's it's fun to do because you can try different things out. There's no real consequence if you get it wrong. So if you're enjoying it or you have any ideas or comments, just leave a comment below and be sure to read it and I always respond if you have any anything you want to add or if there's any ideas you think we should try out, just leave me a comment. Thanks. And of course if you like the video, feel free to hit the like button. I can get more people to watch the video or get this out to a broad audience if you hit that like button because of the way YouTube works. I appreciate it. Thanks. So here we go then. This is the quick look at how this wheel works. It's uh, it's a little rough at the moment because I haven't completed the assembly, which I'll do in the next video. So again, if you've enjoyed the video, please hit the like button and subscribe, and I'll uh, put the next one together and show you where we get to.